Uh, my name is Mario, and I'm from Chicago. And I am John, and I'm from Chicago, and we have been together for 16 years, and we have been married via the state of California for two years. Uh, we met in San Francisco. Uh, John was there for work, and I was living there. And, uh, so we met and uh, started dating. Yeah. It was the best thing that ever happened to me. <laughs> we moved to Chicago together in 2000. I like, I, I like Chicago a lot better, but uh, I mean, San Francisco is a beautiful city. Uh, I think just all of our friends here, and it's just such a livable city. We're, we're very lucky, and we live in such a great city and such a tolerant city. Um, you know, I think the biggest challenge for us has been since we've been married that you know, been living in a state where it's not recognized. So I think the biggest uh, impact for us uh, is on a financial level uh, because uh, my company is very good in all of my benefits, both travel and uh, health benefits, apply to John. Uh, but I'm also taxed at the taxed on those with an imputed, imputed income. Uh, which is something that my colleagues who are straight and married uh, don't face. So you know, every day, I get my, every week, I get my check, and it's just—it's not a huge amount, but it's just uh, a little irritating knowing that I'm being uh, uh, treated uh, really unfairly uh, and not equal with everyone else I work with. I think that's whole part of this why we're sitting here today is because the more people get to know that gay and lesbian people are the same as anybody else the easier it will be for us to get the same treatment and rights that everybody else has. Things have changed drastically since I grew up. You know, how gays and lesbians and GLBT are treated, etc. And, but there's still a lot, a long way to go. Well, for me, it's just, just knowing that you're, you're being treated in, in this country like everyone else. And I, mean, I, I think it just comes down to basic fairness. And, uh, you know, we're very fortunate because our families are very supportive and our, live in a great city where there's a lot of support, um, but still at the end of the day, um, we're not treated uh, like the majority of the people in this country, and, and just, that's unfair, and, and that's why we'd like to see a change. The analogy that's worked best for me about being gay is it's similar to being left-handed. It's just the way that you are, and it's... I had just as much of a choice to be left-handed as I do being gay, and that's truly how I believe I'm wired, and so is that a reason not to have the same rights as everybody else? I'm very fortunate to have an extremely supportive family. Uh, I grew up in Texas, and um, uh, my parents live in Arizona now, and they just love John, and he's a son to them, and my brothers, you know, my nieces and nephews, I mean, everyone just really, uh, John and the supportive of us as a couple. Uh, my family, my siblings are all fine with it. We get together then, you know, for family get togethers, etc. And everybody was out at the wedding. When we got married two years ago, I mean, we were a couple and we planned to be together forever. It was a celebration, but it was also kind of just two people stand up and be counted, you know, that this is something that means a lot to us. Equal rights. No more, no less.